Stolen Smells, written and illustrated by Chimoyoy Roy Roy. Here we go. Okay. Once upon a time in India, there was a woman named Koyel who cooked the best sweets in all the world. I cook the best sweets in all the world. When Koyel cooked her sweets, the wonderful smells drifted into the streets, drawing people into her shop. And once they were there, they bought lots of sweets like jalebi, ladu, and gulab jamun. Yum! Mm, 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 mm. Koyel made lots and lots of money. Money, money, money! One day, Koyel saw a boy named Bijoy standing outside her sweet shop, enjoying the wonderful smells of her sweets. Mm. Koyel waited for Bijoy to come in and buy something, but he started to walk away. Hey, little boy, where are you going? I'm going home. I have a soccer game to go to. Koyel was very annoyed at the boy. But you smelled my smells and did not buy any of my sweets. I'm not hungry, but thanks for the smells. Bye. Koyel was even more annoyed at the boy. Well, if you don't buy any sweets, then you must pay me for the smells. Pay for the smells? <laughs> that That's funny. <laughs> that's a good one. But Koyel was not joking, and she called the local police. The police? The police? No. Yes. The police arrested Bijoy and brought him before a judge. The judge asked Koyel and Bijoy to tell their sides of the story. Wow, there's no way the judge will think Koyel is right. Right? Well, maybe yes, and maybe no. <gasps> read, Mommy. Read, read, read. Okay. Please, please, please. The wise judge listened carefully to both sides of the story. Then she made her decision. Bijoy, Koyel made the sweets, so the smells of those sweets do indeed belong to her. You must pay for them. What? Yeah, yeah, you have to pay me. You have to pay me. The judge asked Bijoy to give her five rupees. But... I can't believe this. Koyel held her hands out greedily for the coins. Come to Mama. But the judge said, Koyel, in payment for the smells of your sweets, you will receive... The sound of money. The sound of money? The sound of money? That's what she said. You don't get the money, just the sound. The judge dropped the coins from one hand to the other. They made a clinking sound. Then the judge gave Bijoy his coins back. The sound of money, the sound of money. Oi! And to this day, Bijoy enjoys the smells of Koyel's sweets, which he pays for with the sound of money. The end. <laughs> oh, that was awesome! Yeah. Koyel was being greedy, and the judge knew it. Yup, smells don't cost a thing. So, cubs... Ta-da! Take the smell of these chops here. We can smell the sweet smell as long as we want. <sighs> no charge. <laughs> That's just the best. <laughs> yeah, delicious smells. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yes. But not very filling. 